Hello everyone and welcome to the very first episode of In My Opinion. I am your host, Haley Vohr. Today's podcast is extra special to me because I will be discussing my fanfiction narrative based off the novel The Old Man in the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. The Old Man in the Sea was awarded the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 1953 and remains one of my favorite novels to date for its theme of man versus nature and friendship. In my adaptation of the story, the point of view shifts to Minolan, the 12-year-old boy who is the old man's assistant. In my novel, Manolan's mother lost her job and his father became ill. Manolan will do anything to help his family, even if that means stealing from a friend. I asked my followers on Instagram to ask me questions about my fanfiction piece, and I'm going to answer a few of those questions now. The first question is from Augie Pike, and he asks, How did you develop the characters in your narrative? Were they inspired by real people or entirely fictional? That's a great question, Augie. I decided to write about the same main characters from the original story. Santiago and Manolan's personalities are very similar in both narratives. Santiago is a determined fisherman, and Manolan respects the old man for his skills and talent. In both novels, the characters value each other's friendship. However, in my narrative, we see more of Manolan's point of view. Manolan's de- character develops as he is met with the challenges of his mother losing her job and his father's illness. His integrity is tested, and so is the bond that he and Santiago share. Olivia Perez Four asks, how did the setting contribute to the overall mood or theme of the narrative? The events in my story take place in Cuba in a small fishing village, just like the original story. People do not have much money and jobs are hard to find. The weather is hot and humid. The smell of fish and salt fills the air. When you're hot and humid in an environment, you may feel irritable and it could dull your thinking. In my adaptation, the weather and setting are used to convey the moods of the characters. Next, Val underscore 2024 asks, What is the theme of your novel and how were you able to convey it to your audience? Great question, Val. The overall theme of my novel is friendship and forgiveness. In my novel, Santiago and Manolan get into an argument. When Santiago realizes why Manolan did what he did, Santiago forgives him. The young boy and the old man overcome obstacles that test their friendship to remain friends. The next question is from ClaireFitz.75 and she asks, how different from or similar to your original selective narrative text was your fan fiction narrative? Why did you make that choice? Well, Claire, I love the original novel Hemingway brought to life, the friendship between Santiago and Manolan, and I really wanted to build more on their story. When I was creating my fan fiction, I wanted to dive even deeper into their friendship and test their bonds. In the original story, Santiago and Manolan do not have any conflict. In my story, I show the point of view of Manolan as well as his family struggles, which tests his bond with Santiago. My text shows the up and downs in friendships and how forgiveness and understanding is important to any relationship. The last question is from John33, and he asks, what were some important or meaningful moments in the narrative that resonated with you personally? Why were these moments significant to you? I love this question. The original novel meant so much to me, so of course I wanted to write some important and meaningful moments into my narrative that resonated with me. Often in life, it is our friends who keep us going when things get tough. In the beginning of my narrative, I want to show how much Santiago and Manolan meant to each other. In the opening, I describe how much Manolan respected Santiago and his skills. I even made sure to mention that the two have conversations about baseball and not just fish. The most heartwarming part of my story is when Santiago reaches into his pocket and gives him money for his father's medicine, even after Manolan stole from him. I want to show that you never know what someone is going through, and it's always important to listen to why they did what they did. Mixed can be forgiven if someone is truly sorry. Santiago forgave Manolan, and I think it made their friendship even stronger. Well, that is all the questions I have time for today. Thank you so much for tuning in on today's episode of In My Opinion. I am your host, Haley Vore, and I will talk to you again very soon.